Hello everyone, thanks for watching this week's video as you can tell from the title. Today I'm going to be showing you guys what I got for my 25th birthday. My birthday just happened um, on the 16th, May 16th, it was Saturday and it was actually a very fun day. I know that like quarantine birthday is kind of stink because you can't see your friends, you can't go out to dinner, you can't really do anything other than being at home but we made it fun. Um, Kaden and my mom made me breakfast in bed which has been a tradition in our family since forever. Every single birthday out of my 25 years, I've had breakfast in bed. So Caden brought over Chick-fil-A breakfast and Krispy Kreme donuts and a Starbucks matcha latte. My mouth is drooling just thinking about it. It's like all my favorite breakfast foods and breakfast is my favorite meal of the day and it was all on this platter. I'll put a picture of it. But yeah, so they surprised me with that. They put a bunch of balloons in my room and then we hung out. I got to watch an episode episode of Grey's Anatomy, which is my favorite show right now. I've been binging the heck out of it. And then I got ready and then me and my family went to go play tennis. If you guys like have followed me on Instagram, you might know that I played tennis all throughout high school and Kane played tennis basically his whole life as well. He's very good. He like almost went pro before he got injured. So we wanted to go play tennis with my family. It was very fun because my mom, my sister, my dad are not tennis players and my my brother-in-law oops sorry I forgot about you Kyle but they are not tennis players so they like missed every single ball and it was just very fun to get out and kind of like just mess around and have fun with it and then we came home and we hung out by the pool and then we had my favorite place for dinner which is this place called Vince's spaghetti it's like the best spaghetti ever in the entire world so we had that for dinner and then we played Catan at night so Catan's a board game if you guys don't know it's really fun it was basically all my favorite things in one day besides like going to the beach and hanging out with my friends. So it was a very good quarantine birthday and I'm very grateful and blessed that my family helped put it together for me and have a fun day. So I wanted to make this video. I don't want you guys to think I'm like bragging or anything because I know that might be how some of these videos come off. But personally, I love to watch these videos. I love like seeing what people got for Christmas and like all that kind of stuff. I did a Christmas video a couple years ago actually and you guys really liked it. So I thought that it'd be fun just to show you guys what I got for my quarantine birthday. One, because I think that these videos are fun to watch. And two, because if you guys have a birthday coming up, I don't know if it's just me, but I feel like anytime people ask me what I want for my birthday, I just like blank out. I'm like, uh, I have no idea what I have ever wanted. Like, I don't want anything, you know? You have all these things that you want, and then all of a sudden your birthday comes around and you can't think of anything that you want. So maybe this will give you some ideas for your birthday or ideas to gift someone something that's in this pile. But this was definitely one of those birthdays. I did not know what to ask for at all. I asked for one thing. Actually, no. I asked for a couple things at the end, but a majority of it, I was just like, I have no idea what to Ask. So it was a lot of surprise gifts and my family did very well. So I'll start out with my gifts from my mom and dad. They like bought all these presents without saying anything. I had no idea what I was going to get from them. So they actually did very well. They got me these golf shoes. Again, if you guys follow me on Instagram, you know that I have started to golf with Kaden lately ever since the golf courses opened up. I golfed a little bit too before quarantine, but Kaden golfs all the time and I decided you know, I'm either going to join him or I'm going to get left behind and he's going to leave me every weekend to go golfing. So I'm going to try and get good at it so I can go too. So I've been trying to play and it's actually been really fun. I'm getting a little bit better and I actually really enjoy it. So my family jumped on the whole golf thing and they got me golf shoes, which is like a genius idea because I definitely needed these. I would like slip around kind of when I golf and you just have to have cute golf clothes, you know, if you're going to do it, you might as well do it right. So she got me these. They're actually really cute too. I'm very impressed with her. I think that they're the Roche style. She got me like this light gray. They're super clean and simple. They have the spikes on the bottom and I just, I really like them. So I'm going to use these definitely when I go and play golf. And then to go with that, she got me this little Nike visor, which I thought was very cute. It's very 90s. I think it'd be really cute when I put my hair up in a big bun on the top of my head and have a cute little golf outfit. So I got this visor to go with it. And then this gift is very golf 
oriented in case you didn't notice she got me two golf gloves so this pink one I know it looks very small on camera but if you guys didn't know I have abnormally small hands like, like I have hands size of a five-year-old child I'm not exaggerating they're so small I don't know why whenever I get my nails done the nail lady is like your hands are like babies and I'm like yes thank you I know <laughs> so embarrassing but she got me a pink golf glove and then a blue golf glove they're Callaway brown so they're really nice I, at least I think that's a nice golf brand I'm not really sure pretty sure kind of sure I don't know I think it's a nice golf brand and then she got me pink golf balls like this big old pack of them which I thought was very sweet look how cute they are I actually have a friend who went golfing the other week and she posted on Instagram her pink golf um, balls with her pink I call them picks but they're called something else. Tees, yes. <laughs> you might have heard Caden say that in the background. They're called tees, and I showed Caden, I was like, I want pink golf balls, so my mom came through with those. And then she also got me a round of golf at this golf course in Rancho Palos Verdes, which is a beautiful, like, beach city kind of outside of L.A. It's called the Lynx at Terrania? Terrania? I don't know how to pronounce it, but it's a very pretty golf course. So she got me that as well. And I thought that that was such a sweet, thoughtful gift. Like think of something, if you guys are trying to think of a gift for someone, think of something that they love to do and like get them an activity that they can do rather than like a gift. But I love how she paired the activity with something I could use for that, like the golf glove, the golf balls and the shoes. It was just a very thoughtful, sweet gift and I'm excited to use all of it. Next, I'll show you what my sister got me. She got me these Ugg slippers. You guys might have seen these like on Instagram and stuff. A lot of people are really liking these slippers. They're super in style right now and they are so comfortable. So I actually bought um, a pair of Amazon dupes of these like probably two months ago just because I really love this style and I wanted to see if I would like wear them enough to get the $100 Ugg pair, you know? And I wore them a lot and I really liked them so I was like ooh, my birthday's coming up. Perfect time to ask for slippers. So I asked my sister and she got me this really cute mint color they have the strap on the back that says Ugg and they're super thick like you can tell right here it's just really thick and so they're so comfy I've been wearing them around the house every day since I got them and it's a especially nice gift because we're all at home during quarantine so we're not really like getting ready putting on boots or shoes you know so slippers were a very good idea and they're so stinking cute I love them let's see next we'll go to Caden's gift so he actually Actually got me like a big basket of things that I love like Cheetos they're all over there I'm not gonna bring them over here but a bag of Cheetos my favorite candy like Tootsie Pops and Reese's and then he put pink picks which what are they called oh tees such a golfer but he put pink ones in the basket which I thought was really sweet because I had sent him that picture saying that I wanted them and he also got me pink golf balls the same exact pack so I got two packs of this great minds think alike and then he also got me a glove but this glove is white so now I have a white glove a pink glove and a blue glove so I can literally change my glove to match my outfit which is amazing so very happy about that oops and then he also got me two things that aren't here yet so I'll just talk about them he he got me the Levi dad jeans. I don't know if you guys have seen them on social media, but they're like such cute Levi jeans. They're sold out of Urban Outfitters. They're sold out on Levi's website. They're sold out everywhere, but I actually found a pair on Zappos, oddly enough, and they were on sale. Like, I think that they were only like $50, normally $100, or they were $60 maybe, but they're really cute, so I had him get me those because I've actually been wanting those for a really long time. And he got me the color I wanted, and then he also got me black. I wanted the light wash denims. I really wanted those, so I asked him for those. I was like, please, this is the only thing I could think of that I want. He also got me some Air Jordans, I believe. Right, babe? Air Jordan ones, which kind of look like the Nike Air Force ones, but they have like a high, like high top almost, if that makes sense. I'll put a picture of them right here, but I've seen a lot of cute outfits with those, and I wear my Air Force ones all the time, so I figured I would wear these a lot too if I got them. So those are both on the way. Caden was afraid that he was going to look like a bad boyfriend because the gifts weren't here yet, but he was so sweet and he got me exactly what I wanted. It's just the whole COVID-19 situation has impacted the shipping and all that, but he also brought me all these balloons. He brought a big trash bag of balloons over and he brought me all the breakfast and flowers, so he did a great job. He does not need to feel bad that they're not 
here yet. Next, Caden's sister and her boyfriend made me a basket that is really cute because I've been loving Grey's Anatomy, like I said earlier. I've been like binging it. So they made me this sweet basket that says like a watching Grey's basket type thing. I don't know why I didn't bring it up here, but I'll just tell you what was in it. It was like a bottle of rose and a face mask and a lip mask and this little plant succulent thing to put on my table, which is really cute. And then they also got me this live book. It's by Sadie Robertson. You guys have probably heard of her before. She was on the Duck Dynasty show, but now she's like a preacher and she travels and she has her book and she has a podcast and she's just amazing. And so she wrote this book and I actually really wanted to read it. So it was super awesome that they got it for me. I didn't even like, like mention it or anything. I didn't even think about it really when I was thinking of gifts, but I did really want to read it. So it's super exciting. I haven't started it yet, but I'm excited to read it because she's just amazing and I think that it'll just be really good. So that was a very thoughtful gift. And then last but not least, not going to lie, this is like low key my favorite gift. <laughs> Sorry, Kaden. This is from Kaden's parents. It is an umbrella from a business and business business and pleasure co and it's so cute so i don't know if you guys have seen the world market umbrella i'll put a picture of it that a lot of people have it was on sale for like 80 dollars or something i tried to buy it a couple weeks ago but for some reason it wouldn't let me add it to my cart it said in-store pickup only but then with the whole covid thing it like won't let you order in-store pickup so it wouldn't let me buy it so i told kaden i was like i want an umbrella like this or similar to this which everyone kept saying was a weird gift like kaden said it was weird gift his sister said that my sister said that and I was like I don't know why everyone's saying that this is literally the best gift ever but Ken showed the picture of the umbrella to his mom and then she found this one from business and pleasure it's similar but in my opinion this one is way cuter than the world market one it kind of has like an antique look I'll put a picture of it right here but it's really really cute I'm going to bring it to the beach I'm going to take pictures with it for my Instagram I'm going to when I have a house one day put it in the backyard it's just so so, so so cute and they have matching chairs and they have the same umbrella in a bunch of different colors too and so I was just so surprised that she got it for me because I didn't ask for this one specifically but I followed them on Instagram forever and I just really love their stuff and like I just never pulled the trigger to buy one for myself so I was so excited that she got that for me so this is like the strangest gift some people were saying but like honestly probably my favorite just because it's so stinking cute and I'm so excited about it and I was like you know what this is the first birthday where like I feel super old one because I'm 25 I get that 25 is not old but I feel old for some reason I just I don't know 25 is just like there's so many reasons like one when I was in high school and I would think about being 25 I did not like, I thought I'd be married and have kids by now, which, like, obviously I don't want to have kids right now or anything, so I'm, like, happy I'm not where I thought I'd be, but it's just weird. Like, you think, one day I'll be 25, that's so far away, and then now I'm actually 25. Also, because I feel like every birthday from now on is just gonna, like, get worse and worse and worse. Like, 26, I'm gonna be over halfway to 30, so, like, I'm halfway to 30 right now, so 26 is just gonna be even worse, but I feel old just because of that, and then I also feel kind of old because like my favorite present is an umbrella like it's a home item and I feel like only old people get excited about that kind of stuff for their birthday I've passed the point of like asking for like clothes and you know all that kind of stuff now I'm asking for home items so if that doesn't say old I don't know what does just kidding like I said I know 25 isn't old I'm being dramatic but I'm just being honest with you guys I did struggle a little bit on this birthday I kind of had like a moment where I was like <sighs> <laughs> I don't want to get older. Anyways, that is what I got for my birthday. I will link everything in the description below if you guys want to shop any of the things for yourself or add them to your birthday list or buy them for someone's birthday or something like that. Oh, also one thing, if you have a quarantine birthday coming up, my friend Heidi, she's so sweet. She Venmoed me money and said like, go get, I forget what it was. She said, like, go get a mani-pedi once this is all over or treat yourself to, like, an online purchase. So I thought that that was really sweet because if you can't go see your friends or something, you can Venmo them and add a note and say, like, buy something on Amazon or buy something from your favorite store or whatever. So that's also another gift idea in case you wanted one. But I hope that you guys like this video. Let me know which gift was your favorite or what you have on your birthday list or something like that. Let me know in the comments. And be sure to subscribe if you're not 
not subscribed and turn on the bell so you don't miss it and like like the video I think I just threw my thumbs up when I said the bell that was the wrong thing like the video okay anyways that's all for now but I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you guys in the next video bye